All of these tailoring terms have the word seam in them, which can trip you up in the beginning, but I'm gonna make this ridiculously easy for you because at the end of the day, you just want your clothes to fit you better, right? I think you should subscribe. Ooh, let's get into this. Seam edge or raw edge. If you look at a garment really close, I'm talking really close under a microscope, what, uh, what do you think you're gonna see? Hopefully not dust mites. Ugh. It's pretty much gonna look like this, with some of the fibers running horizontally and some of the fibers running vertically. The ones running horizontally are called the warp and the ones running vertically are called the weft. You know how many takes that took? Tooks that take? Why are you telling me this? I just want my clothes to fit better. Okay, so the edge of your garment in and of itself really isn't all that important. It's really not, but it is important when you cut it. When you cut across that garment horizontally, the warp, doesn't really care. But the weft, the weft has some big issues with what it is that you just did. And what it's gonna do next is it's gonna do its best to just start to wiggle its way down, all the way down as far as it can go. Its main goal and mission in life is to now piss you off just enough because it's gonna get all over the inside of your washing machine. Now to prevent that from happening, you can finish that raw edge in one of three ways. One, you can use pinking shears, which are gonna cut a zigzag pattern into that garment, which will prevent that weft from unraveling on you. Two, you can sew a zigzag stitch over that edge, which will prevent it from unraveling on you, which is exactly what I do, like pretty much every single time. Oh, and you might hear it referred to as an overcast stitch, and in the event that you do, they're, they're one and the same. Three, you can go out and you can buy a serger, which is going to put a perfectly professional looking zigzag stitch on that edge, but um, they're really expensive. If you wanna do this on a mass scale for friends, family, or for business, go ahead, invest in a serger, but if you just wanna make your personal clothes look better on you, then, mm, if you can afford, if you got some of that stimmy money left, then go ahead, but otherwise, nah, steer clear. Okay, well if the seam edge is the edge of your fabric, then the seam is the actual stitches combined together. That's it. And it's either that new stitch that you just put on your garment, or it's the original one as it came from the store and probably looks horrible. Pro tip, as far as thread goes, polyester thread goes with polyester garments, cotton thread goes with cotton garments. But that being said, I 99% of the time use polyester thread. Why? Because polyester thread is going to stretch in your garment, whereas cotton thread, yeah, that ain't happening. Pro tip over. Seam allowance. This one is tricky because the name in and of itself gives you pretty much no indication as to what it is, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, luckily I'm gonna blow your mind with how easy it is to understand. It's not hard at all. The seam allowance is that distance between that raw edge or your original edge of your garment and the stitch that you made. It's just all that space in there. That's it. The reason why that's important is because whether or not you make your seam allowance too big or too small is going to have an impact on everything. If your seam allowance is too small, you're not gonna have enough fabric on there for you to adequately put a zigzag stitch on there. And in the event that your seam allowance is too big, yes, you can put a zigzag stitch on there or finish that edge with some pinking shears, but it's gonna be really uncomfortable. It's gonna be flopping around on the side of your body like that, like, hey, hey, how you doing? Well then, how long or how big should my seam allowance be, SD? About five eighths of an inch is standard, but give or take, there's a lot of wiggle room in there, so you, you can't really mess it up with that. That's all I got for you, SD out, deuces.